Well, welcome back. So glad to be here and joining me today is Kathy from Delaware. And Kathy's a Pilates teacher from Delaware and you're here visiting and going deeper in our work together. And um, I've asked Kathy so generously to be here today. Uh, she was a little under the weather and so I just so appreciate it for, for more than one reason. The fact that you're such a dedicated teacher, which is very inspiring, but also that it's so valuable. We talk about our work being something that's self-healing and really Kathy and I are experiencing that. Just, and I'll have her say a little, little bit more about what, what her experience is. Uh, we're basically, you can see we're set up in the Fascial Dog series, and Kathy's already done Phase 1, Phase 2, which you can look at in our video blog and see what those are. Very simple. And Phase 3, you'll see why we're going to use the yoga wall, and Kathy can share what, how that's helping her to feel something deeper. So want to say just a little something about um, what you're noticing uh, and, and we'll actually go into it so you can see as we experience this, how is fascial dog you know so doing level three of fascial dog was quite challenging for me without the yoga wall and yes. the strap yes I um, am so delighted to be able to sense uh, my groundingness, groundedness, right, and uh, to be able to actually find the position mm. because of the yoga wall. Yes. So I'm hoping to go away, go home, and really be able to develop my ability to do level three without the strap. This is so great. It's so important what Kathy's saying because we wonder sometimes what's the value of the reformer? What's the value of the chair? What's the value of the spring-based apparatus? How often does someone or a client say, well, I'm not going to have equipment at home. Why would I want to get on that? I want to just do the mat work. How do we use our environment? How do we use a strap? How do we use a spring? How do we use resistance? in a way that we wake up our relationship to our deep, innate biointelligence. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you, uh, you know, how Kathy's developing this, and I'm, I'd love you to say a little bit about what you're noticing, some things that are valuable for you sure. as you're doing it. So basically, um, in phase three, um, we usually start with lunge position. But because we're doing it with the yoga wall, she's beginning with that leg. She's going to start with the legs and the strap and just hands here. So you'll see how our setup is a little different with the yoga wall as we start. But you'll see how we're going to go to a very similar phase three position. Mm -hmm. So let's just start with very important to have the strap against the front of your thigh with the strap when you're coming forward over the strap as you place your hands on the chair. So you're developing this feeling of, once again, two directions of the spine. That's what's hard for people to feel. How to use the strap. You lean into the strap, and you feel your head going forward as your tail releases back. And then just go on the ball of your feet, Kathy. So now she's using the strap and feeling the float, the up, inhale, exhale, and now shoulder blade to deep belly supports the lowering of her heels. Inhale to float up and keep everything floating toward the ceiling as you exhale. Right, feeling the water fall down the back. And my hands are here because I'm helping her feel the lift of her low belly, even though my hand's on her back. That's actually talking to her hamstrings, the lift of her hamstrings fascially. Yeah. Is that your experience, Kathy? Yes, it makes such a difference where I can feel my connection before I even begin to go up onto my toes. Yeah, fabulous, fabulous. So now, she's by going up and down, she's created space in her hip sockets. That's the feeling of opening up the hip, and now go ahead and place your left foot on the wall. And here we are in Fascial Dog 3. 
So the one thing we want to do before you rotate is bring this foot down just a little bit because first get a feeling of just level. What is just leveling the hips? Right. And, the, and we want to get that same feeling of how to shoulder blade to deep belly, open up space in the right hip before you rotate into it. Inhale as you float up on the ball of the right foot. Keep that hip lifted as you exhale your heel down. Beautiful. See how that's creating more space. And the strap is helping her to, to, to be able to feel that, to feel her spine's relationship to her leg. Remember how we're always looking at how does the hamstring, how does the back of the leg connect to the front of the spine? Getting that internal support. And Shall we rotate? Beautiful. So let's rotate. So now she's just gonna use the wall to turn her foot. And as your foot turns, there you go, beautiful. Yes. So this is my weaker knee, and this helps to get me into a position of supporting it from my core. Yeah, and what does that feel like to you? What does it feel like decompression? Where are you, is the, is the, is the shoulder blade to deep belly, is that like apparent to you it's right a, now? Or? It's a, a straight line. Mm. From head to foot. So she's in feeling her midline support and it's just gonna get stronger and stronger. So it's gonna be so valuable to to stay in touch, you know, as you keep developing it. Yeah, see how it's just kind of, more you can rotation. feel how you're just developing it more and more mm -hmm. and more. That's it. Yes, and then come back to center. That hand goes down and this foot rotates out. Very important to let that heel go out to the left to allow this hip to come around. So the rotation from the left Mm -hmm. foot through her low belly, through the shoulder blade to deep belly, through the spiral support, takes her in this direction. It's incredible. And then you put that hand down, bring that foot toward the other foot, press down into your feet, stay against the strap, soft knees as you come up. Wow. That was great. Wow. So really great. What was, what felt new about that? Uh, that? You feel like you're building. What felt new was a connection between my upper torso mm. and my lower torso. Mm. Hips. Mm. So it was a much stronger connection. Yes. In fact, I didn't feel that connection just using the wall without the strap. So this is really, really powerful. What Kathy's talking about is you know, how we speak about lower core, foot to pelvis, central core, pelvic floor to diaphragm, upper core, diaphragm to cranial base, palate, cranium. And what she's saying is, I feel a, each time she's building a deeper and deeper connection of how upper core speaks to lower core through the power of central core connection. Breath. Absolutely. Breath feeds the body's full body connection, which is what Joseph Pilates taught, said all the time, whole body health. So, Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon.